Okay, so for our very first lecture, we are going to be looking at um, your first couple of pages here. So we're going to be going through um, your power words, and we're going to be going through um, just like weather and climate. Well, we're going to focus on climate in our next one, but weather um, and what it is. And at the end of this, you'll have a quiz to take. Okay. So your first set of power words, climate. Climate is weather patterns over a period of time. Okay. Then we have our atmosphere, which are gases blanketing and surrounding the earth so basically it's your the air you know an exo an exosphere which is the outermost layer of the atmosphere your thermosphere which is the fourth layer of the atmosphere where the air is very super thin then we have a mesosphere which burns up most meteors and asteroids before they ever even reach our earth then we have the stratosphere which contains the ozone layer and it's above the troposphere. Then we have our ozone layer, which is a layer in Earth's stratosphere containing a high amount of ozone, which absorbs most of the ultraviolet radiation reaching the Earth from the sun. Then we have our troposphere, which is the lowest layer of the atmosphere, and this is where most of our weather is actually going to take place and occur. We have our humidity, which is what, it's like the sticky feeling in the air. It's a quantity representing the amount of water vapor in the atmosphere um, or a gas. We have fronts. They are weather front, or a weather front is a boundary separating two masses of air of different densities. So you can have a cold front, you can have a warm front. Global warming which I'm sure most of you are familiar with this uh, term, is a gradual increase in the overall temperature of the Earth's atmosphere. So the Earth is getting hotter. Then we have a greenhouse effect, which is the warming of the Earth's surface and the air above it. It's caused by gases in the air that trap energy from the sun, and those are known as greenhouse gases. Okay, so if you need to go ahead and pause the video and go back in order to write down all of those lovely definitions, you should have still three blank definitions and we'll do those power words for the water cycle when we go over what the water cycle is. Okay. Now we need to get a good foundation and what weather is versus what climate is because weather is around us at all times. It's the temperature and state of the air at any place or given time. This is different from climate. Okay, climate refers to the conditions of the atmosphere for longer periods of time. So if we're talking about the weather, I can say, oh, okay, what's the temperature outside? And I can look it up. I can't say, what's the climate today? Because that's not how climate works. Climate is weather patterns over a large period of time. So I could say that Arizona is a desert climate, which typical patterns show that in the morning it's cooler, so colder. And by the um, afternoon time, it heats up significantly from what it, it started with in the morning, typically. Okay, so we have some words here that are described, are used to describe weather or climate. So you're going to write these words in your interactive notebook on the line that they belong. So if I'm saying something is humid, I'm talking about climate. If I'm saying it's rainy, I'm talking about weather. If something is temperate, it has a temperate climate. And if I'm talking about averages, we typically calculate averages over a long period of time. And that will give us average temperatures, average humidity. Okay. If it's windy, I'm just describing the weather outside, right? If it's partly cloudy today, which it is actually today, today is Monday, January 21st when I'm recording this, and it is definitely cloudy and windy today. If I'm saying it's stormy, 
Okay, that's weather. If something is tropical, is a tropical climate. Okay, so think Hawaii. If there's a lot of rainfall, we can measure how much rainfall there is in any given span of time. That's talking about climate. And if I said, oh, it's sunny outside, I'm just simply talking about weather. Okay. Moving on. So when we are watching the weather on the news, we have all these fancy weather instruments that measure all of these things for us in order for us to develop patterns to figure out what an area's climate is. So first we have a barometer. A barometer is an instrument that measures atmospheric pressure. Okay. Then we have weather balloons. And um, this is an instrument that's actually sent into the atmosphere to collect information about the weather that's happening. The balloon will contain devices to measure temperature, humidity, pressure, all that good stuff. Then we have thermometers. They typically measure temperature in Fahrenheit or degrees Celsius, right? So we use a we use thermometers probably most often to take our own personal temperature to see if we have a fever, but we also use them in order to figure out how hot or cold it is outside. Now we have a rain gauge, which is used to collect and measure the amount of rainfall during a period of time. So if we wanted to figure out how much rainfall there is typically over a year in Arizona, we would use this device in order to measure that. Then we have an, um, an anemometer, which is an instrument that is, measures wind speed. Okay, There are different styles of them. A basic one will just measure wind speed, and then there's others that will measure um, the direction that it's actually coming from as well. So if you need to go ahead and pause this video, copy down all of what these wonderful instruments are meant for in your interactive notebook and your corresponding page. And, okay. So before we start climate, we have a reading here. It's called the weather. Okay. All right, so we're going to go through this together, and this is actually exactly what your um, quiz will be on. So all the answers to your quiz can be found in this reading um, specifically, okay? So weather describes the condition of the atmosphere. The condition of the atmosphere may be hot or cold, wet or dry, calm or stormy, clear or cloudy, okay? The layer of gases surrounding the planet Earth is called the Earth's atmosphere. The atmosphere is made up of different gases and acts as a shield protecting life, and it also helps maintain a safe temperature on Earth. So a temperature that we are able to um, live from. The temperature is the degree of hotness or coldness in the air, sometimes called air temperature. A thermometer is the instrument used to measure the temperature of the air or any other substance. The temperature based on the motion of energy. The temperature is based on the motion of energy in the air. If the gas molecules in the air move faster, the air temperature will increase. Humidity is the measurement of water vapor or the invisible water in the air. Air pressure is the weight of the atmosphere pressing down on Earth. Air pressure is also called atmosphere pressure. So if you've ever had your ears pop, there's, um, like if you go into the mountains, your, the air pressure will change and it starts messing with your ears, okay? A barometer is used to measure atmospheric or air pressure. It is used by scientists called meteorologists who study the weather to forecast changes in the weather. weather. The change in air pressure has an effect on weather. Air moves from higher pressure to lower pressure, so if there's a high in a low nearby, it can be windy as air rushes between the two. High pressure situations are generally associated with fair, sunny weather. Low pressure areas are generally cloudy, rainy areas, um, and strong areas of low pressure bring the stormiest weather. 
and higher altitude places, the air pressure decreases because the air is less dense. However, in lower altitude places, the air pressure increases because the air is denser at lower sea levels. Wind is caused by air flowing from high pressure areas to low pressure areas. The difference in the pressure is caused by the uneven heating of the Earth's surface by the sun. Some areas of the Earth receive more heat from the sun than other areas. This also results in various different wind speeds. A difference between high and low pressure will cause wind, but the greater the difference, the stronger the wind. The rotation of the Earth also has an effect on the direction of the wind. If the Earth did not rotate, the wind would blow in a straight direction. Since the Earth rotates, the wind is deflected from the straight path. Local winds are created as a result of mountains, vegetation, bodies of water, and other similar natural bodies. This is why local winds may change often from mild breezes to strong winds in just hours. Local winds cover short distances. There are several variables that affect the type of weather on the Earth. One is location. Coastal areas may have different weather patterns than mountainous areas. Weather also depends on a place's distance from the equator. And we're going to go over what the equator is in our next lecture. In summary, the Earth's weather can be warm, cold, windy, dry, rainy, snowy, and different combinations of each. Temperature affects air pressure. Wind has an effect on temperatures. And there are other variables affecting the type of weather occurring throughout the world. Okay. So that is just a general idea of what weather is. And so you're going to be making sure that you fill out all the corresponding interactive notebook pages that go along with this, as well as making sure that you take the quiz. So you need to do step one, which is obviously watching this video. Step two is taking notes while watching this video. And step three is taking that quiz. Okay, once you take your quiz, you need to record your score on the HyperDoc. Okay, you need to be opening these HyperDocs into Google Docs in order to edit them appropriately and utilize the hyperlinks.